What's up tech is Josh here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone as a webcam using your Mac and also eCam. In this video I'm going to describe how to connect your iPhone to eCam, what are some of the purposes and some of the creative ways that you can use this, some of the different practical ways that I've thought about and will use for future projects. <laughs> I've been using eCam for the last few weeks and I've been sold on this product. It's been one of the best pieces of software that I've used in a long time. I've been looking into getting into live streaming more and more for all kinds of reasons for different platforms, different brands and all that kind of stuff. Long story short, I've been interested in how to use different kind of camera angles, being able to connect more cameras. Most live streaming gear is actually sold out right now. So software like Ecamm comes in clutch for these kind of situations. It's like a switcher. You can be able to use different audio sources, different video sources. You can do overlays, all kinds of stuff with the software. This isn't even a sponsored post. This is just something that I truly believe in and really love and enjoy using. So if you do want to check out Ecamm, there's a trial link that you can use down below in the video description. So with all that said, I'm using my real camera right now, but at times like I might need to use a more remote kind of style. So there's a couple different ways that you can connect your iPhone to eCam. The first way is wired and the other way is wireless, which uses NDI technology. For demonstration purposes, I'm using this Manfrotto Pixie stand with an iPhone mount. You can find those links down below in the video description if you wanna pick this up for yourself as well. A side note is that eCam, again, I'm gonna get on to another pitch about eCam, is that they just released an update that you can simply use a USB cord to plug your camera like an A7 III right to your MacBook. I've got another video that goes into more details about it, so if you're interested, click the link down below or on your screen with one of those cards. I bring that point up too because it's really just that simple as well. All you gotta do is connect your USB cord, the lightning connection with the USB-C, and that's it. Unlock the screen. So eCam, it detects it right away and it starts to load it up and pretty soon you'll be able to use it as another angle for your shows. Another thing that you could use this feature to be able to connect your iPhone to the MacBook is to use it to demonstrate stuff on your iPhone. As you can see, it's mirroring the screen. So if you need to, like I said, demonstrate something, if you need a presentation, or if you're trying to demonstrate how to work something on an iPhone, tutorials, how-to videos, all kinds of stuff like that, you could use this as a way to do that. All you gotta do is go into your camera and you can see here, again, you can go into more of a demonstration mode you're also able to use the front facing camera and it's just literally mirroring your camera. So that's all you gotta do to use this app. You might notice that you can see all the icons and stuff like that. So there's a way that you can kind of fix that and I'll show you that real quick. So you wanna come over to your camera effects and there's a zoom and pan. So you can zoom in and there's your other camera angle here. You can't see any of the kind of stuff that way. And you can just crop out how you need to or how you see fit. So there's this app called Shoots and I'll leave these links down below and it shoots through your rear camera. And it doesn't have any of those icons anymore as you can see. So do a little inception for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see here, like there's no icons on the screen anymore. That's all gone. And the reason I bring that up is because Yes, you could use your native camera, but you're gonna see all those icons, you're gonna to have to crop in. But if you use that Shoots app, it's gonna work perfectly just that way. One tip though, if you're gonna use it, is that you're gonna turn off your notifications on your phone because you will see that pop up. Now let's move on to the NDI feature, which is actually my favorite because this opens up a ton of different kind of creative opportunities to capture some footage. It's called NDI HX Camera. Again, link down below in the video description. All you've gotta do is be connected to the same wireless network, the same internet as your computer, as what Ecamm is connected to, and Ecamm will automatically detect that. So basically, see that little icon down there called NDI. You toggle that on, and that's how it works. That's all you have to do. So you've got the NDI icon there, and it pops up. I'm gonna turn it on to both. I'm gonna put both these angles on so you can see both things of what's going on. So I'm here. In the app, I got the NDI toggled on. If I were to toggle that there, you can see it turns off. So blue is good, blue is go. You got a settings icon here that you can adjust to some more stuff, some different colors. You got a flashlight even if you need it. You got your grid, microphone. You can mute or turn that off. You can actually flip around the camera and use the front facing camera. So very versatile app. 
then this icon basically changes the resolution. In my opinion, you're going to want to try to use the best as possible. You have a zoom function, <laughs> like ignore my dust on there. My gosh, I got to clean this thing off. But yeah, you can see how this could be pretty useful. You can kind of see the picture quality too. There's a little bit of a delay, it seems like. Not too bad, but you can actually sync some of that kind of stuff in Ecamm and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, it gives you another angle that you can look at. So here's some of the practical ways that I could see this being used, whether you're using the iPhone cord or if you're using the NDI wireless feature. If you're doing reviews or if you're doing unboxing videos, you can have a top-down view using your phone. A lot of the times I'm using my A6600 as my top-down view because it's a lighter, smaller camera that I can put onto my C-stands with a different kind of mount. But even then, that's kind of heavy at times. So it could actually work into my benefit to use this system with the top-down view if I'm using this at the same time. I need to make a video about all the features that I like about Ecamm because this is another one. There's a lot less editing that I have to do using Ecamm. I can switch to different camera angles while the recording is going on versus trying to do it in post. And everything is recorded to my MacBook already. The file's already there. I could just start editing on my MacBook. But just some other ideas that you could use for this. Let's say that you're at an event, you're at a concert, camp, something like that, something that's got some ways that you could actually walk around with this iPhone setup, tag the iPhone with the Rode Wireless Go microphone, and you've got a nice portable setup. You're not even connected to anything. So you can walk around to audience members, you can ask interviews, do that kind of stuff, or you could take it to a closer stage setup, just one of those mobile kind of views that you can have versus your setup camera in the back, your wide angle, and so forth. So it just adds some nice creative options for you to be able to use an iPhone for some production kind of stuff so that's just really cool to me. One practical way that I could actually use this in my professional business is to use it at weddings. I've offered live streaming services recently and so one of the ways that I could keep the stream going between the transition period from the ceremony to the reception because you still have to have a video and audio feed going is that I could switch everything to the iPhone, move that to the reception area, and then have that as the stream. Let it set. I could have an overlay or something like that to cover up any kind of movement and all that. I get that put in place and then I could take my laptop, the bigger setup with the bigger cameras and all that kind of stuff and then move that to that location and then turn everything on when everything is connected the proper way. So that's actually like a practical reason why I could use this for my professional work. As you can see, there's so many different ways that you could use an iPhone for live streaming for different kind of purposes. Like at the moment, I'm not live streaming, I'm using Ecamm, but I'm using this whole system and setup to make a YouTube video because I could do a record only option. So like I said, so many different ways and benefits that you could use Ecamm to your benefit. I love using it. I have a link down below, again, a free trial if you wanna test it out yourself. I promise that it's definitely worth it, especially with all the different kind of gear for live streaming is sold out right now, like the stuff that you would typically go for, like a Cam Link or Blackmagic Mini Recorder, all kinds of stuff like that is just sold out right now and it's hard to get right now. This is ready and available. There's tons of ways that you can connect real cameras, iPhones, and just NDI type features. Heck, I've even got my Mevo Start right here. NDI, I can use it as a single camera, one angle, and it works perfectly with Ecamm. So tons of benefits that you can get. I hope that this video is helpful to you. If it was, you'll probably find some more helpful videos into this channel. And I appreciate it when you guys just kind of take a look at those kind of stuff. If this was helpful to you, leave a thumbs up, share the video so that way maybe someone else could benefit from these tips. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next video.